was one of your ideas. <laughs> Right, um, councillors, um, we've got um, uh, the Auckland Council traffic bylaw, uh, a omnibus a bylaw, Helgard. Good to see you and Callum. Didn't you cheer oh, us? Oh, yeah, through? thanks, um, uh, Your Worship. Uh, look, this is pretty self explanatory. Can um, you? Yep. And uh, just basically to cover a couple of things off, this is um, there's a couple of amendments here. Just it's just um, around um, dates, uh, incorrect dates were put there, so that's um, that's been um, corrected on the screen up there. Um, and I just want to thank uh, uh, councillors Brewer, Quacks, and Member Wilcox. And um, I know Member Wilcox is in the audience here somewhere, and he did just say to me a wee while ago, "Was he on this one?" He can't remember. He does so many of them. <laughs> I've just about everything with some of us, so I just want to thank the, the troops for that, and um, and we're happy to move it, and I'm sure um, Councillor um, Brewer is happy to second it. Yeah, very good. <coughs> Any comments, councillors? Just bri um, Councillor Chris. Briefly, I'm actually intrigued by Section 11, and I'm, I'm happy to see Section 11. I understood that there was um, a difficulty due to a, a, um, some government legislation that restricted... Auckland Transport from enforcing the parking on verges and I think it was something that came out of local government New Zealand where all the provincial councils, the rural councils thought it was really gung-ho to park on a verge but now we actually finally have some level of control as outlined under section 11. Is that correct Helgard? Councillor, um, just to, to point out the very limited nature of this bylaw, this is a bylaw that does not apply to the Auckland Transport System. Auckland Traffic. <coughs> oh, sorry, Auckland Transport has a bylaw that deals with the um, with the Auckland Transport System. This bylaw is only applicable to land under Auckland Council's control. Typically, the car parks in libraries or community centres or within reserves or on the beaches that are outside the ambit of the Auckland Transport System. So this particular clause does enable Auckland Council to look after um, parking of vehicles off a roadway where the roadway is within, for example, a reserve. Um, so the bylaw is actually a very narrow <coughs> bylaw because the majority of what <coughs> generally one would assume would actually fall under Auckland Transport that has their own bylaw that has to do with us. Okay, so where you read the word roadway, it's actually beyond the road. Correct. <coughs> okay, that's slightly confusing the way that word is used, but okay, thank you. So, so, Mr. Mayor, I just want to acknowledge um, uh, Helgard and the team also. They've done a fantastic job again on the bylaws, and it's a pretty straightforward one with my AT and AC. Very good. Councillor Cathy. Um, can you show me where the cycleways have been included into the bylaw? Yes, certainly. Um, <coughs> there is, uh, you just find it. Um, uh, clause 8. D, uh, sorry, E, clause 8.1E, established cycle lanes, including contraflow cycle lanes, cycle paths, shared paths, and other special vehicle lanes. Clause 8.1C. Uh, well done. Right. Can, can, sorry, w. can I just uh, go back to the clause 11 again? So, Helga, we had a situation recently in Silverdale where people were parking on the grass at the park and ride because it was full and they started getting tickets. So would this not allow them to park there? I think we gave tickets for about a half a day before the verbial hit the fan. It depends again if, I would assume that it's within the um, bus station area, which would mean it's part of Auckland Transport's infrastructure <coughs> and therefore not under this bylaw. Great, thank you. Very good. Any other questions? No, put that, all those in favour say aye. 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 Thank you. Thank you very much, Helgard. Move on to 19. 